Yo, what is up, dudes? So, do we do the joke again? Another day. Another Donner. Have this right here. The DJP 1000. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. I have a, I have a hunch of what this is. I don't know the exact color, but um, crossing fingers, it's a particular color that I was hoping that they would have. They send what they can, but I suggest the color. <laughs> and uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I, I, um, I'm excited about this one. As you can see, it's a good sized box. So we'll uh, we'll check it out. Where's my razor? It's right here. Let's unbox it. All right. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a strap, uh, as a lot of Donner products do, and a cable. And like most of the Donner Electrics, it has a bag, double, like a backpack style bag. Anything in here? I don't think so. There never is. No, no. It's always separated into the compartment. Okay. Now we're on to the unbagging. Ooh. Ooh. All right. This is. the Allen wrench. Wow. There it is. Is it black? Is it dark red? Like a Doesn't look like any of the colors they had online. Very interesting. Maybe this is a new color. Because I saw sunburst, black, and red, but the red was a much brighter red than this. And I've seen uh, people using the red. Um, so, uh, it, you know, it's definitely not the red, and it doesn't look like to be the black. I wonder if this is a new color they're coming out with. Does it say on the box? Let me see what the box says. You make a song, right? What the box says. All right, so it's a D. 1000. Oh, it's R. I guess that's red. Donner DJP 1000 R. You know, compared to the other, um, not just photos, because, you know, photos can get under bright lights, get very lightened up. I've seen video. It is a cool guitar, though. It's got some weight to it for a semi-hollow. Let me uh, actually let me move this, this table out of the way so you can really see it. What do we have there? I don't know. Something. Okay, so coil cuts. Oh yeah, right there. And right there? No, just right there. Oh, and right there. Right, the two volumes. And then two tone. 
real split. Oh yeah. Because I don't think that's black. At least it doesn't look like the black. It says R. But the one online, so either this is maybe a new color or an older color. I don't know. It is a little confusing. Looks great, though. I'd call that a burgundy, right? Or a, um, I'm going to call that like a, something like a brown red. You can see it there. And then here's the back arch back to and um, I believe this is a um, I'll check the specs but I believe the neck is that uh, laurel right the Indian laurel uh, but they really Don is really good at getting it nice and dark it practically feels like ebony the Donna Jazz. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jeff. Look at that. And we just have a little tagger here. Yep, Jazz. That's all that says. All right, let me uh, tune it up and, uh, you know, uh, stretch the strings a little bit. Plug her in, and we'll give it the old sound test. Uh, give me just a couple of minutes here. In the meantime, I'll, I'll figure out some more of the specs on the guitar. When we get back, we can talk about the specs a bit more. Mm-hmm. 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 It's got some weight to it. I'll throw it on the scale, too see what it is. All right. See you in a sec. All right, we are back. Um, so I did a little sleuthing on the guitar, and one surprising element, rosewood fretboard. Ah, the, re the slow but sh steady return of the rosewood. You start to see that a little bit more and more. Um, but w the other stuff we could have already guessed at. It's a maple body with a, with a maple neck. And it's a neck through. That's what they're calling it, but you know, you know how that works with a, with a semi-hollow. It's kind of a log in the center, and then they put the front and the back on it, but uh, that's why it's semi-hollow, because there is a big slab that runs down the center of the, you know, of the guitar, which is what gives it its weight. Ugh, I'm getting tangled up here. Here we go. There you go. Um, as we mentioned earlier... <laughs> It's got a couple of humbuckers, and these can be coil cut. You can hear a big difference right there, and then here is the uh, neck. Right, much louder, T almost twice as loud. <laughs> um, let's go to another uh, sound, something that's a little bit... Um, you know what, I'm actually going to kill my mic because this guitar is so loud, like an acoustic, I feel like it's coming through.
a couple of things. I noticed that the the volume um, affects the treble. It probably has a treble bleed circuit on it. Because if you uh, if you start to back off on the volume knob and the uh, tone is down, I am noticing that it bleeds off and comes out much brighter. Right, it's bleeding off some of its uh, um, some of its voltage off somewhere. So it must have a treble bleed on it. Um, so if you want the full scope of the tone, it looks to me like you have to have it all the way open. To prevent that that uh, drop off. Other than that, it all works as functions and as uh, you know, pretty much every electric guitar you know you play, single coil humbucker. Uh, the neck is a uh, larger than the other guitars I've played by Donner, uh, especially like the Donner uh, S style and T style. The T's got a little bit thicker neck than the S style. The S-Style is their, their thinnest, um, like the DST-400, the DST, I think, with the 152. But the D, I think it's the DT something, the Donner uh, Tele style, the T-Style, um, that actually starts to get a little bit thicker when you play those side by side. This is more like that, that Tele, a little bit thicker, a little bit more of a medium than a small. <laughs> But it's not a big chunky neck by any means. I, I've had other guitars that are chunkier. All right, let's go to a clean tone. You can check the pickups out. That's in humbucker mode. And then coil cut. Big drop off. All right. And then here's the neck pickup. Cut it. And then let's coil cut both. a little um, sort of like a dual Marshall there it is Thank you. 
Nice. And then uh, I think, yeah, more of like a like a slap back delay. tune here. There you go. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I had a guitar like this, it, it, my first electric. Um, I had a, uh, like an ES-335 style guitar. It was made by Aria, and uh, it has pretty much fallen apart over the years. Uh, it was up in an attic that was probably 130 degrees in the summer. Uh, and uh, over time, it just it just fell apart. Um, we got that in 74, I want to say. Yeah, 74. And um, I, uh, uh, I've always loved the 335. You know, it kind of gets me a little nostalgic for the, for the shape. Uh, I can tell you this much, just, you know, from head to toe, this guitar is light years beyond that, that aria. That aria was, that was always rough, you know, rough playing. Um, I think we paid $75 for that guitar in 70, in 74, 1974. So to put it in perspective, our rent at the, uh, two bedroom apartment was $75 a month, including all utilities. So, kind of puts that in perspective. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I'm really digging this guitar. It, it the neck feels big to me because you know I'm coming off playing a, a, a wizard neck for a, like a week. Every neck feels big after playing an Ibanez wizard neck. Yeah, I tell you, I'm uh, I'm digging this guitar, and they're pretty pretty inexpensive, like most Darner stuff. I think they're like you know three fifty nine or three sixty nine. Don't quote me on that because you know prices vary. But I will leave a link in the description. Uh, check out the Donner J, is it DJP one thousand Donner Jazz something and I think this is the burgundy red because when I looked it up it's supposed to be a burgundy red 
I just think when they shoot it on the, this is a real life with the with the, you know, what the color is going to look like. And I think if you get it in sunburst, um, it's actually a flame top. These are uh, plain top, plain back. There is no flame that I could see. But all maple construction, rosewood fretboard. It's got the nice crown inlays. There you go. Donner DJP 1000 in burgundy red. Dark burgundy red. With rosewood fretboard. Link in the description, as always. Thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on.